Welcome back to our message from our divine compassionate guides. I hope today's message will help heal and serve in the most appropriate way for you. Today I'm pulling from the Rose Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. So let's find out what our message is from our guides for this beautiful day. Sophia. Ooh, so pretty. Divine plan, wisdom, intelligence within, destiny. Take a deep breath in, allow yourself to be centered, open for the message, and let's learn about Sophia. Divine plan, wisdom, intelligence within, destiny. Sophia is a Greek word meaning wisdom. Sophia is thought to have a force present at the time of creation and is often presented as a woman. This turns our patriarchal understanding of a sole male God responsible for creation on its head. In the Bible's book of Proverbs, Sophia says, I was present at the beginning of the creation, participating at the side of the Lord in the work of creation. Many scholars and art historians believe that the female figure besides God in Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel ceiling is a representation of Sophia. The philosopher Rudolf Steiner believed that the ancient Egyptian mother goddess Isis was an incarnation of her as well. The galaxy overlapping the spiral of the rose on this card is a mystical representation of Sophia as holder of the divine plan. The intelligence that tells the rose when to open and the planet how to spin also exists within you. This card brings with it a message of trust, the intelligence that brought you here. Have faith that the blueprint of your destiny is already known. What secret dreams do you have? What are you being called to say yes to, to create? Sophia embraces the cosmos. She holds the blueprint of creation. No person or thing is left out. Call upon her to guide you. Rest in the intelligence that exists within yourselves. Trust that you know what to do. Trust the blueprint within. Allow the seeds of your destiny to guide you. And the rose transmission with this card. I trust in the divine plan. Activate the intelligence within my cells. And unlock and act on my most expansive destiny now. I trust in the divine plan. Activate the intelligence within my cells. And unlock and act on my most expansive destiny now. I'll do that one more time. I trust in the divine plan, activate the intelligence within my cells, and unlock and act on my own, my most expansive destiny now. What a beautiful, beautiful message. Not like it's new. It really covers what's been consistently been pulled is that we need to trust our trust our internal knowledge, knowing, wisdom, but also trusting Sophia, God, the consciousness, the higher realms, that they're supporting us. Especially now, there is, every door is literally open for us to walk into. If we're struggling, it's because we're keeping ourselves in this struggle and and in this belief of these doors. That's, the energies are supporting us. If you're in divine light and you're going forward and you're trying to be the best human you can be, you're going to be supported. I really do believe this. And you need to trust, trust everything around you. Was it, you know, talking about trust, it's very interesting because I was, I was at a barbecue the other day and ended up talking to a lady that is completely, in my opinion, crazy, very crazy. But this is the reality we now live in is that there is, there's two ways of being in this reality. Either you believe that what has happened over these last three years and uh, stopping oil and gas is is just going to happen and it's meant to be, or you don't. And that's kind of what we're at this point. And uh, I'm not going to lie. I realize after these last three years, I no longer care. Not that I cared much to begin with because I always struggled with social norms in normal times, but now I give no, no Fs of any social norms. After having the, in this, 
having this conversation with this lady, at the end of it, I felt it was very condescending because she said to me, it was great having this conversation. And I was like, no, it wasn't. This was horrible. You are crazy. And I actually said that to her. I know as, as an adult that I was taught to not say stuff like that and not talk to people that I really, when she started to really get to me, I probably should have just felt found a way to disappear. But I feel like that is what we've been trained to do. Instead of telling people straight up how you feel, I don't know her. I did not like her. I do not ever want to spend more time with her. Why should I not tell her she's crazy? Just saying. If, 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 if you're only dealing with people who literally repeat back to you what you want to hear, you live in a really small world and you're not getting a good perception of all the things going around. And if you honestly believe like, I'm sorry, if you believe anything over the last three years has been for the benefit of humans and you think that that was, you know, all justified, you support an anti-human agenda. That is just how that works. Unfortunately, you're supporting something that does not support you even succeeding in this reality. So it was just very interesting on how you know, I trust my own internal wisdom and I don't care about social norms. I don't care if that is not socially proper to tell you straight up that that was not an enjoyable conversation. I did not like interacting with you and that you are crazy. You know, maybe that should be the social norm is that we can have open, clear conversations with people and tell them straight up. Because if we did, we we didn't live in so much deception and clouded elude illusion around our reality we'd have a better idea of what was really going on it was you know it's just very much like uh, with all these fires and you've got people who think that there's actually things happening to benefit us um i don't think people understand how corrupt this whole process is and i don't think it's you know it's, it's very interesting it's very multi-complex um and I think a lot of it's not actually natural when you start, you know, but it's interesting because the same lady interrogated me for the first part of my conversation about authority figures, because I made a comment about how I don't necessarily trust what comes from authority. And that was in regards to the fires that have been happening. And then I was literally lectured about what authority was by this lady. And then it's interesting in hindsight, because my authority that has any authority over me is God, the higher realms, the wisdom that guides us is the highest authority. There is no human that I give authority to. I personally, going through the rabbit holes, considering things, explain to her how I make my mind up of how I think things are. But of course, I'm always flexible and will change my opinion if new information comes into my realm that shows me that what I used to believe or think was the correct way is not correct. I'm not going to hold on to it like my life's over if I get new information. I will adjust it and I will have to adjust from that because I learned a lot as I started going down the conspiracy holes um, of a lot of things that, that really questioned everything I ever believed. And I said to her, one of the things is listening to people that have nothing to gain telling me stuff. And going, well, if, why would they say this? Why would they go out and, you know, say this publicly or get onto certain podcasts and tell people this? Um, if it's not going to make, you know, if they're not profiting, they, they get ridiculed, they get mocked. Anybody in like normal media will, you know, attack them. I, I feel like, you know, when I real when you look at what the incentive is behind them for do, doing things, or if you can find it, is going to lead you to whether this person or these, this entity is going to tell you things. So believing the existing authorities in this realm, they're, they're not authorities. They've, they declared themselves, themselves, themselves authorities. And I know so many people that, you know, they go to mainstream media, they tell their story and it's, it's cut. So it doesn't even look anything like the actual story or all the important things are cut out of it because a perception is pushed. So yes, we all live within veils of perception, and I understand that as well. But uh, it's just very interesting when you break this down that we are the intelligence within. The full authority above us is those higher realms. There is no person that has authority over you. And, uh, and we should have open conversations. And if you did not enjoy that conversation with the person, you should just tell them. Like, I'm done with, you know, everything's always been hidden and it's so weird and manipulative. Like, if you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, you know what? 
F that shit. They didn't care about hurting anybody's feelings when we weren't allowed to go. If you didn't get the experiment, you couldn't go into lots and lots of places. Couldn't go into a restaurant. Couldn't go to a movie. Couldn't function like a normal person. Couldn't get jobs in places. And there's still places that you can't get jobs at. So I just go, why would I care if I hurt your feelings at this point in reality? Because the reality is, is I am being supported by divine destiny and I was given a mouth and so were you. And we're being called to find the intelligence within and connect. I hope you have a beautiful day and until tomorrow, namaste.